so uh, good morning everyone uh, we are here and uh, we are going to uh, continue with the chapter 7 that is packing uh, wherein we just have uh, you know uh, started on and we discussed what this chapter is all about so and we discussed your pers uh, perspectives and your experiences as well now we are going to start on with the first uh, paragraph wherein we get to know what insight is there in this chapter right so let's get started the first uh, paragraph i said i'd pack i rather i rather pride myself on my packing packing is one of those many things that i feel i know more about than any other person living it surprises me myself sometimes how many such things there are i impressed the fact upon george and harris and told them that they had better leave the whole matter entirely to me they fell into the suggestion with the readiness and had something uncanny about it george put on a pipe and spread himself over the easy chair and harris caught his legs on the table and lit a cigar so in the first paragraph what does it say in the first paragraph we know that the narrator or the person who is talking is basically who the name of the person who is talking is jeremy right i told you three friends are there the first is jeremy the second is george and the third is harris right so what is happening basically jeremy is basically there and he is actually saying what he is basically saying that i am the i think i have the best capacity and the capability of doing packing for a particular trip right he says that we discussed that day if you remember we were saying that most of the you know people are not too good into packing they tend to leave some things at home or you know afterwards they tend to feel that they have you know not uh, taken this particular thing so that kind of thing might happen but certainly what happens is uh, here jeremy is one person who is very very much into packing and he's saying that i am i think i am most you know uh, i am the best into packing and i asked george and harris to keep it all to me that means give all the responsibility of the packing to me only right and george and harris what they did george actually he said okay fine and he went in there and he put on a pipe and went on an easy chair easy chair kya hoti hai jispe hum relax karte hain okay easy chair so he went on a pipe and he started relaxing and when it came to harris harris also put his legs on the table and he lit a cigar that way okay so in this we are just talking about a certain situation a certain scene wherein these this is going on okay so let's come to the second paragraph uh, i would like manaspi to start on please manaspi start reading from the second paragraph i think some issues are there again uh, manaspi i repeat Manaswi of ninth day, rule number twenty-four. I am unmuting you. Quickly start reading, Manaswi. Ma'am, from the second paragraph. Yes, from the second paragraph. This was hardly what I intended. What I had meant, of course, was that I should job, that I should boss the job, and that Harris and George should potter about my my directions. I pushing them aside every now and then with, oh, you. Here, let me do it. There you are, simply enough. Really teaching them, as you might say, they are taking it in the way. They did irritated me. There is nothing. There is nothing that irritates me more than seeing other people sitting about doing nothing when I am working. So here, what we discussed in the second paragraph, it was basically there that Jeremy is the one who is doing everything, and he is taking care of the whole packing. okay and he's just irritated by the fact that you know when i am working when jeremy is working the other people are just sitting like the sun they are not doing anything at least you could help no this kind of a thing could happen but he gets irritated with this particular thing that you know people are not even taking initiative to do something okay manasvi please continue he lived with a man once who used to make me mad that way he would loll on the sofas and watch me doing things by by the art together he said it he said it did him real good to look on at me messing about now i am not like that i can't sit still and see another man slaving and working i 
I want to get up and su and superintended and walk around with my hands in my pockets and tell him what to do. It is my energetic nature. I can't help it. So basically, what he says, he says, "Thank you, Manasvi." So he says that basically, I am a kind of a person who does not, you know, just go on doing the things every time. I am a person. If somebody is doing something, I will suggest that person that please don't do such kind of a thing. I'll tell you how to do it. Okay, so it's that that kind of a person. But now at times people are like, if somebody is working, they are sitting idly. They are not doing anything. So that is again one thing that he said that it is actually bothering himself or that actually irritates himself. Okay. Uh, now let me read the fourth uh, paragraph for you guys. However. However, I did not say anything, but started the packing. I seemed a longer job. Sorry, it seemed a longer job than I had thought it was going to be. But I got the bag finished at last, and I sat on it and strapped it. Strapped is basically, I have closed it. I have zipped it up. Okay. Aren't you going to put? Aren't you going to put the boots in? Said Harris, and I looked around, and I found I had forgotten them. so he was too good that means jeremy was too good into packing but suddenly harris said that like, are you not going to put your boots inside so he said oh my god i just forgot it okay that's just like harris he couldn't have said a word until i got the bag shut and strapped of course that means he's he's like this only harris is a person if he sees any fault or something like this he will not tell you he will tell you at the end matlab jab maine bag band kar diya sab kuch inside you know i put everything inside tab wo mujhe bol raha hai that put these boots also right and then and george laughed one of those irritating senseless laughs of his they do not make me sorry they do make me so wild so basically what is he saying he saying that george is again a person who just laughs irritatingly senselessly bas hasta rehta hai he doesn't even make any sense and he makes me too wild wild in the sense he makes me too angry and ferocious that way okay i opened the bag and packed the boots in and then just i was going to close it A horrible idea occurred to me. Had I packed my toothbrush? So you remember the Esther, you know, uh, earlier that day when we were discussing about certain situations or certain experiences, uh, there were some people who were saying that I forget my toothbrush. Okay, certainly when we are packing, we forget to pack our toothbrush, and that is again what is happening with him also. A you know a sense of idea actually occurred, and he said, "Did I actually pack my toothbrush or not? I don't know how it is." but i never do know whether i have packed my toothbrush my toothbrush uh, toothbrush is a thing that haunts me when i'm traveling and makes me makes my life a misery obviously when you're traveling and you don't carry your toothbrush it's a misery obviously how will you brush your teeth right i dream that i haven't packed it and wake up in a cold perspiration and get out of bed and hunt for it and in the morning i pack it before i have used it i have to unpack again to get it and it is always the last thing i turn out of the bag and then i repack and re forget it and have to rush upstairs for it at the last moment and carry it to the railway station wrapped up in my pocket handkerchief so what is exactly he saying he saying that obviously you know it happens at night when you are done with your packing theek hai aap to brush bhi rakh dete ho but again in the morning when you're going aap ja rahe ho for your trip so you need to brush your teeth now you have to take the brush out and you you need to brush your teeth aur kya hota hai jaldi jaldi mein we tend to forget and that exactly happens it happened with me also many a time that you know in morning i'm uh, putting it out and i'm brushing my teeth so what happens i forget my toothbrush there only i forget to repack it and what will happen at the last moment when i'm rushing okay fine it's time to leave the house i you know just a uh, situation occurs oh my god i just forgot my toothbrush and then what the other person is doing he's taking the toothbrush and just packing it in a handkerchief and for putting it in his pocket so that is one thing that happens basically toothbrush thing was basically the one that was actually haunting him the most okay he had that kind of a thing that oh my god you know i did i just forget my toothbrush or not and what will happen further if i just forget it here only of course i had to turn every mortal thing out now and of course i could not find it i rummaged rummage is basically searching very hurriedly theek hai jab jaldi jaldi se search karte hain I rummage the things up into much the same state that they have been before the world was created, and when chaos reigned, of course, I found George and Harris eighteen times over, but I couldn't find my own. 
I put the things back one by one and held everything up and shook it. Then I found it inside a boot. I repacked once more. So exactly what happens? He wants, if you see in the picture, what is he doing? He was packing Kali and he was trying to find his toothbrush because he didn't know that I had packed Kali or not. Kar liya. So what did he do? He turned out everything out. He took everything out of the bag. Se, and then he was searching for the toothbrush. And then what happened? He saw the toothbrush. He saw Harris and George toothbrush 18 times. But he couldn't find his own toothbrush. And exactly what happened? Then when he was unpacking, finally he found his toothbrush which was inside a boot. So the boots he has kept. The toothbrush obviously it is a sleek one. So it goes inside the boot. So that is again a funny thing. And if you see what a mess and chaos he has actually made in here. Okay. When I had finished, George asked me if the soap was in. So now again, when all the packing is done, now the person is asking, did you keep the soap? I said, I didn't care a hang whether the soap was in or whether it wasn't. When I slammed the bag shut and strapped it, strapped is basically just packed it, okay, zipped up. And found that I had packed my tobacco pouch in it and had to reopen. It got shut up finally at 10, 5 p.m. and then there remained the hampers to do. Harris said that we should be wanting to start in less than 12 hours time and thought that he had George had better to do the rest. And I agreed and sat down and they had to go. So basically what happened after the bag thing was done, the toothbrush thing was done, he used to eat tobacco. Who? Jeremy. So Jeremy, you know, he had uh, this kind of thing that he ate tobacco. So he had suddenly, you know, uh, actually packed that tobacco pouch inside the bag and he had to repack again in order to find that tobacco pouch also. Okay, so now what happened? It finally got over at 10, 5 p.m. That's why we packing the packing. And then there was a thing. Obviously, when we go for a trip or something, you remember we usually keep food baskets. Okay. Okay, so uh, just give me a minute, please. Okay. So, uh -huh. so basically what happens, there is a food basket. Okay, so what happens, we, when we go for a trip or something, we tend to keep uh, food baskets with us, uh, with us, right? So obviously he has done all the packing. So now it was the turn for Harris and George to do the other packing for the food, right? Now it was time for them to do something. So now uh, Jeremy said, okay, fine, I'm just sitting quietly. I will be relaxing. Now you go on and you do the packing for the food basket or you can say the hampers okay it is basically hampers if you see such kind of a food basket okay so i got a message from ananya she's saying like uh, here jeremy had the scene with the tobacco i had a situation with uh, this uh, uh, spectacles okay so it happens with me also because i am also a person who wears spectacles okay so here till now we have the scene that wherein the main packing is finished and now it will be carried on by Jeremy, uh, sorry, it will be carried on by George and Harris, which is for the hampers, which is basically for the food baskets, right? Uh, now we're going to continue tomorrow further and we're